H. Marty signing in. So should you learn C++ in 2018? C++ is a programming language that dates back almost 20 years now, going back when it was first standardized in 1998 it was. It goes back a while back, so some, so and there has been a bit of discussion of, is C++ a dying language? So that's what we're going to be answering today. Let's begin by pulling up some statistics. So this is a survey completed by Stack Overflow, which is just all the users on Stack Overflow that completed this survey. We can see that C++ ranks number 7 on the list at 22% of the programming market share. So 7th seven, place is not a dying computer language at all, because there's actually a lot of job applications for it. But since you can't of course base your whole opinion just off of one survey, I've pulled up another survey here, which is, this is a survey created by GitHub. So over here, the stats look pretty much the same. We can see that C++ is actually ahead one on this, it's at number 6 on the list. At about, it's about actually pretty close to the similar, so considering it's at 6th place, I would definitely not consider C++ a dying language. I mean, at the very bottom here, we've got Objective-C, so that, you could, might be able to consider Objective-C a dying language, considering that Apple's actually switching all of their programming stuff over to Swift instead. Next, let's talk about money. So the average salary for a C++ average programmer is about $80,000. Of course, this for ranges quite a bit. And that's, of course, not taking into account for experienced users or more advanced users or higher prestige, more well-paying jobs. And my next point is uses and applications that you can use C++ in. So C++ is actually used a lot in the Windows operating system. It's used for creating user applications, mainly because of its incredible speed. And it's used, actually, there's a quite a few under the hood components of the Windows operating system that are created with C++. Another very common use for C++ is creating game engines. A lot of the game engines, such as Blender, Unity, they're written actually in C++. While something like Java is more appealing to the eyes, and it's actually, you can get a lot more done with a lot less code, it's a lot less efficient and the runtime is a lot slower. It's simply for speed wise, a lot of programs are written in C++. So something like Java is actually written in C++, but as we can see here, that distance itself a lot further from the processor. So the way this works is at the bottom is the processor. That's where all the stuff happens with the ones and zeros and stuff like that. So that's the way well, everything down and then compiles down to. So next after that, the next layer on that is assembly. So we've got the processor and then assembly. And assembly is just the ones and zeros telling the processor what to do. After that, you have C, and then C is just, again, it's just... So like, I mean, typing out a hundred ones and zeros will probably take forever. It's a lot simpler to do with C. So then after that on the stack will come C++, which C++ is basically a hybrid version of C meant for more object-oriented programming. And then after that, finally, you have Java on the very top. So Java on the very top, well, you can get a lot more done with a lot less code. It has, since it has to follow so many more steps, finally get to get down to the processor, it loses a lot of runtime speed and thus it's inferior to a language like C++ for speed. Should you learn C++ in 2018? If you haven't already learned it, I definitely highly recommend it. And there's great tons of great tutorials on YouTube. If not, you don't find what you're looking for on YouTube. There's also the library, which I've actually found once you're a bit more into the programming language, once you've got the best of the basics, then library books are a very helpful resource. And of course, if you're a web developer, I wouldn't recommend going to C++, but if you create user applications for the desktop, or if you're all interested in looking at games, it's a great language to learn to get into game development for. It's great for actually developing for the Xbox, for the PlayStation, and for the PC. But hey, what do I know? I'm still a kid, eh? So I hope you guys all enjoyed this video. If you guys have any questions, thoughts, or comments, I'd love to see that down in the comment section. And thank you for subscribing. I'll see you next video. It's your Marty out.